hey guys so welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am talking about the ubuntu dde it is a desktop operating system and it is based on ubuntu 23.04 that is the luna lobster currently and with the dp in desktop environment it is a remix of ubuntu so it is not the official release of course but it is of course good and i can say it is the most beautiful desktop environment okay i will show you the demo okay that how beautiful it is so from where you can download this uh, ubuntu remix so you are uh, this is the website ubuntu dde.com and you can see this and uh, this is a screenshot and uh, click here for the release notes and you can see this is the 23.04 version of the ubuntu dde and uh, uh, these are some key features uh, written here okay it is using the 6.2 kernel and uh, uh, deep in may 2023 base okay so the latest deep in desktop environment uh, you are getting and minimum system requirements are uh, 4 gb of ram 20 gb of uh, hard disk space and 2 gigahertz processor now uh, who can use this uh, ubuntu dd now you know about the deep in uh, operating system and that is based on china so if you are worried about uh, to uh, use the dpin uh, operating system uh, which is also uh, based on the uh, dpin desktop environment so you can use this ubuntu so this is purely ubuntu and uh, of course this is uh, with the uh, open source dpin desktop environment so uh, you have an alternative version uh, of the uh, dpin uh, operating system the download is easy just click here download and these are the official releases you can see i will recommend to uh, install <coughs> or download via the torrent and also uh, in the first torrent uh, you can uh, get this torrent so you can see this is the torrent file it is downloaded and with the help of any torrent client you can download it after downloading the iso uh, you need to make a bootable uh, usb drive either using rufus for windows or using belena eacher for any uh, operating system uh, such as mac os or linux or windows and then you can boot it uh, of course uh, first of all uh, disable the secure boot and then uh, you will able to boot your system from the pen drive and uh, it uses the Calamiers installer so installation is very easy i'm not doing it uh, right now okay you can uh, watch my previous any ubuntu based video for the installation okay so now let's boot the live system okay so just start i'm doing it in the virtual box this is really nice grub screen and is booting now and it is a great uh, plymouth uh, theme you can see and this is the uh, login screen you can see live uh, session user so you can change here uh, the desktop environment uh, this is the x11 version and this is the wayland version but wayland is not working now you need to install some packages to work and it is still experimental so uh, by default uh, x11 is your only choice so just uh, click here to log in so this is the very beautiful deep in desktop environment and this is the ubuntu dde and you can see uh, this is the very fancy dog you can see below okay so first of all let's see the launcher so here uh, if you click here so all the softwares you can see and the icons are really in a 3d style and it looks really awesome and elegant and beautiful so you can see some lagginess you will uh, uh, face uh, in this operating system and that's true and uh, if you uh, resize it and going to a small launcher so it acquires a different look so you can see uh, alphabetically uh, all the softwares are listed and if you click here so the category wise so internet music video graphics so category wise listing uh, will be there and also for all apps you can see here for the all apps so this is really uh, looks amazing so two different styles you are getting and also you can you can search for uh, for a software here also so so the launcher is amazing and two, and two versions you are getting one is uh, full screen and one is this 
but first of all uh, i'm showing you guys in the panel uh, what are the things so this is the show desktop and this is the uh, multitasking view okay and this is the file manager and album and the deep in music and calendar and the control center is there trash icon is there and also the input method and the uh, uh, usb uh, uh, tools are, are there and also this is the battery and uh, this is uh, this is uh, you can you can adjust the volume and this is adjust the brightness of the laptop and this is the connections okay that is the network connections here and also uh, this is this is the uh, global search so you can search for any any files or folders here and th and this is the power power icon so to shut down or restart or uh, log out okay and now let's see the control center first because everything uh, will be controlled uh, from here all the all the uh, dp index drop so you can see this is the control center so this is the account so manage your accounts this is the system info and you can see this is the ubuntu 23.04 base 64 bit kernel is 6.2 and this is my processor and the ram i'm using 2.6 gb in the in the virtual box right uh, well and then uh, coming to display so in the display uh, you are getting many more things uh, you can you can uh, turn on night shift or you can just uh, 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 reading mode you can you can turn on okay in the night and also you can adjust the uh, screen resolution from here and the uh, uh, refresh rate and rotation and uh, these are the default apps so so default apps are here and and uh, this is the uh, network and the notification and the sound settings you can see the sound settings sound effects so all the, all these sound effects you are getting here so for each and every event uh, you are getting some sound so that's that's really beautiful and this is the power option so power option you are getting okay in plugged in or in battery and also the mouse and touchpad setting is here date and time and time zone and this clock is uh, really nice okay i like it and the keyboard and language and uh, all right and now i'm showing you guys the personalization okay so this is the personalization and uh, you are getting uh, getting a lot of extremely beautiful themes and icons and accent colors and you can see here so uh, these are the global themes so bloom and flow hazy color so all these and you can see very fancy uh, cursor icon themes are also included here so currently i'm using this cursor and uh, and this these are the accent colors so this accent color it is using and you can see clearly see it and also uh, to change any icon so you have a lot of icon sets here and all icons are really beautiful really really beautiful okay so look wise uh, this operating system is number one definitely and these are the cursor icons you can see a lot of cursor icons are there and also text settings you can do it and suppose i am now changing uh, the global theme okay so just uh, i'm just clicking here and you will see that uh, many things will be changed and you can see like cursor has also changed right so that's that's really beautiful and let's uh, see this okay so you can see a lot of things has changed okay and the bloom is the default one so look wise it is amazing and uh, in the desktop uh, the dock this dock you have two mode one is fashion mode which is really good and this is the efficient mode so complete panel like things okay so i like the fashion mode so it is okay and the location it is in bottom you can you can uh, do it in the left so in the left side uh, you can also do this so it is not bad it is actually good hmm. and also keep hidden and smart hide you can you can turn it uh, this is uh, okay so whatever uh, your choice you can do that and this is the plugin area okay so 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 which icons will appear in the dock so you can you can uh, check or uncheck from here and the window effect uh, you can turn it on and the minimizing effect so either scale or magic lamp okay uh, you can you can do okay and the transparency and and many other things uh, you can do here so so look wise it is awesome distribution and also i'm i'm showing you now some wallpapers 
and this is very nice uh, wallpaper tray you can see in the below so so that uh, looks really good so i can change any wallpaper so just uh, click here and uh, you can see uh, uh, this wallpaper will be applied for the desktop or lock screen or both so you have the choice right so for the desktop i'm just clicking here and the wallpaper has changed and this is the very nice file manager you can see and also uh, that now the tiling you can see uh, these these tiling things okay and it is just uh, like the windows 11 tiling isn't it so you can you can see uh, this tiling things but for uh, other apps you are doing many other type of tiling such as uh, suppose um, open this uh, deep in music so it is not necessary that uh, you will uh, get the same tiling features so you can see this tiling feature is not available here okay so so that that's the thing and uh, suppose this control center uh, let's see and here only one tiling you are getting and this is so this is a good implementation of the windows 11 like uh, uh, tiling of windows so you can see but uh, it is uh, actually under development you can see and uh, not all apps have the same uh, tiling options you can see but it is a good implementation of course now i want to show you guys the multitasking view and for this i am just opening the file manager and the uh, settings well and then for the multitasking view just click here also shortcuts are available so you can see that's very nice this is just look like the gnome right and uh, you can you can just move windows from one to another okay so that's really cool and you can see so this multitasking view is also good i like it and uh, you have the uh, notification area also okay and here here uh, this is the notification area uh, you are getting now here you will get a really nice system monitor i'm just showing you guys and this is the system monitor and a lot of uh, uh, functionalities are here in this system monitor so this is the system monitor it looks really modern and you can see this is the cpu usage and this is the ram usage 1.5 gb of ram it is using it is really beautiful desktop but the ram usage is really low compared to that and swipe usage you can see actually this actually uh, it is using the z ram okay so automatic swipe function uh, it is enabled and uh, this is the cpu usage graph you can see and these are the uh, application running and all these are pids okay and you can right click here and you can end a process or suspend process or uh, change the priority or the kill the process and if you click here so you are getting all the uh, all the processes right all the root processes you can see and this is all the things and these are the processes and here also the tab for services and and all the services it is running this is uh, also in the windows just like the windows services so this is an extraordinary tool because uh, right clicking here uh, you can stop it you can restart it okay and you can you can choose the startup type okay and which service is running which is not running okay and the start tactics uh, you can see here so this uh, this uh, system monitor is really uh, amazing and uh, its functionalities are amazing okay so graphs are looks really good and many information also uh, you can see from here so yes uh, this system monitor is really unique uh, for any linux distribution good work uh, deep in uh, desktop environment team now let's see uh, this is the app store so a deep in app store is there this is the very beautiful app store you can see and this is the this is the home tab so uh, some recommended softwares uh, it is giving and also you can see these softwares are for the messaging this for the these are for the internet okay so you can see a lot of softwares are available in this app store and these are for the games these are for the developments these are for the office packages okay and lot of other things you can see and also uh, these are for the update and you can check for update uh, by clicking here 
and uh, suppose I, i'm showing you guys suppose going to the office and then this is an amazing software zonal plus plus this is an amazing software to uh, for the online tutorial or to keep the handwritten notes okay so to install this uh, you just click here install and it will be installed uh, very easily and it is installed so easy and to uninstall it just click uninstall and it will be uninstalled in a few seconds and you can see that so it's very easy to use so a huge collection of software is available because it is based on ubuntu 23.04 now talking about the issues in this operating system the main issue in this operating system is the lagginess yes everything is laggy in nature uh, if you click uh, click on uh, some software or uh, you, you you are just clicking the close button or open button so it takes uh, some time a little bit of time to uh, do the functions okay this laggy nature is really irritating and this is the only drawback i have uh, seen in this desktop otherwise it is very polished very good looking and very uh, productive operating system i can say uh, so you must try it once and uh, let's see that uh, what is your response so just write me in the comments below so if you like this video just hit the like button subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell icon okay and thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in the next video very soon so till then take care and goodbye